Well, an active hate crime investigation is underway in Alameda County. Officials say a, a hate group stormed a library during a drag queen story hour for children. Stephanie McGallion reports that uh, she spoke with the performer and staff who were there. What was supposed to be a quiet reading time with drag queen Panda Dulce ended like this. Did you guys call the cops? It was stormed by eight proud boys um, who disrupted the event. The incident occurred Saturday and witnesses who wanted to stay anonymous say the group that disrupted the event was acting aggressively and yelling offensive slurs against the LGBTQ plus community. You know, they came in and they were screaming about like pedophilia and saying things like we have to save the children. And I mean, they were terrifying the children. The performer, Panda Dulce, didn't feel comfortable going on camera either. But in a statement, she says she immediately froze. And the first thoughts that came across her mind, is it an ambush? Are they armed? And the massacre in Uvalde, Texas. That's when she says she realized they were defenseless. Library staff say the men wouldn't leave and the rhetoric was escalating, so they called the sheriff's office immediately. We removed the performer from the room at, to the back and then we invited the parents and children to exit the room as well. But even after going through all of that, both the performer and the staff felt very strong about continuing with their reading event, so they ended up covering up all of the open windows with anything they could find just to help the families feel more comfortable. The Alameda County Sheriff's Office says a hate crime investigation is now underway, as well as an investigation into the annoying and harassing of children. Deputies want to assure the community that as people celebrate Pride Month, deputies will be swift in their response to any threats toward this community. Both Panda Dulce and staff believe what happened here was a part of something bigger. It may have been linked to things even beyond the city or nationally um, in response to the Drag Queen Story Hour movement. The same night of the Drag Queen Story Hour event, a truck full of masked men believed to be part of a white nationalist group was arrested near an Idaho Pride in the Park event. They are charged with conspiring to riot. I was deeply, deeply disturbed. These incidents have pushed the community to come out and show their support with signs and messages of solidarity. I wanted to show up today to uh, show support to the library and let the community know we won't stand for that here. The library says nothing is stopping them from celebrating Pride Month, but Panda Dulce says this incident and others are now pushing organizers to look at security measures, even at events like this meant for children and families. In San Lorenzo, Stephanie Magallon.